Hi guys, this is Flying Cheese. Today we'll be taking apart a smart motor. Have you guys ever wondered what's inside your smart motor? Today we'll be taking a deep look inside. Right now I'm gonna take apart a smart motor. But before any of you guys do it, I recommend you guys to wear safety glass because safety first. So here's my hammer and I'm ready. You can see the outer shell starting to break. And also be aware of the plastic shards because they might be sharp. You guys could see the circus board right here. And then you guys would later see a motor in here. So let's keep on taking it apart. We're starting to see the gearing inside. Sheesh, that was hard. And I guess you can sort of see the inside of the motor. I'm trying to not damage any parts of it. Just what I was saying, there's a little motor right here. Interesting. Bam, that's a part. So this is the sun gear inside. And you could see it's directly attached to the motor shaft. Oof, it just fell out. And then if we grab a VEX IQ axle, which give me a second, you could poke it inside. I'm going to take this black gear out. I'm going to try not to damage any of the components. It looks like I've already shattered the circus board. So hard to take out. So break. As you can see, this is an encoder. Its main use is to measure the speed and degrees of the motor. And it's attached to the main circuit board. And I'm guessing that it's using a light sensor. Actually, it is using a light sensor to measure the speed. See this little gap in here? You could sort of see the laser beams that are shooting out from it that's meant to measure the light. And this port right here is when you stick a wire inside and it's connected to a brain. It transfers the information to the circuit board and tells the motor to spin. And you could see the main motor, which I'm going to take out. Okay, I'm better using my hammer. This is a microcontroller and this is a H grid. Uh, it's such a pain to take this motor out. I'm gonna try to do a test to see if I could connect this motor to battery pack. In order to do so, I'll have to cut the wire off. So see the copper encodings. Okay, and I'll take the turn off. Where's my helmet? <laughs> it just flew. So I took this motor out. And I'm trying to hook it up to battery, and I want to see if it spins or not.
And if any of you guys are trying to do the test at home, remember to not touch it with your hands or anything that could pass through electricity. Because if so, it's going to ground and the electricity won't go to the motor. The motor's not moving, but it's hot. Like, it's literally hot. I wonder why it doesn't spin. Maybe one of you guys could tell me. If any one of you guys know why the motor doesn't spin, feel welcome to put it in the comment section below.